<laughs> wow! I got so many goosebumps right now. Really? Oh god, that's cool. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Dean here again from Canadian Balls. Uh, today we are going to check out one of the really cool clutches that Canadian Balls did this year. Um, it was a the very first visual pie pairing that we had. So it was a Orange Dream Gravel slash Yellow Belly Gene X 100% Het Pie male bred to a visual pie female. Um, she is the only pie I have in my collection. A um, little bit of a funny story about her. She's actually the only snake that I have named in my collection from my wife. Her name is Heidi the Pidey. So Heidi gave me her first clutch this year and she did not disappoint. Um, one thing I can say is if I'm going to do pie stuff, I'm going to be mixing orange dream with it all the time. Uh, this clutch just kind of proved it for myself here. So we're going to jump into it and check out what we got. Uh, the first one that we're going to see is the only male that actually came from this pairing. And it's funny to, uh, to see that this is the only male normal that we got. Um, Everything else in the clutch was female, so I'm definitely not complaining about that. So as you can see, it's just a normal 100% het pie male, nothing else involved with him here. Uh, he does have some pretty unique oranges on him, but I'm guessing that's just probably from the het pied influence. Um, again, I'm not crazy into pied, so I'm going to be learning a lot with this project from what the het pied stuff does. I know everybody's kind of used to the, the het pied railroad tracks that you'll get down the belly. Um, but other than that, I'm not really sure if it's going to be helping with the the influence of the color from the hat part, but uh, this is just a nice little male hat pied here. And then from there, we got a either a gravel or yellow belly Posh Gene X. Um, it is showing a little bit brighter colors than what I'm used to seeing in the gravel or yellow belly stuff. Uh, but this one here is a nice female. Um, got really really nice belly on her as well again the gravel and the yellow belly really influence the the flaming up the sides everything like that so she is really holding some really nice yellows down her belly and just just a nice clean looking gravel or yellow belly to have uh, also being het pied can't complain about that um, but again just another kind of basic female here from this pairing that we got um, if it was something for me, I would say I'm leaning more to the gravel side just because I'm not really seeing as much flaming in the animal that you do from yellow belly, but you cannot tell in, until you prove them out or breed them. So uh, I'm not saying it is gravel, but I'm leaning a little bit more towards that. And from there, we have probably one of the nicest orange dreams that I've hatched out, but again, it is het pied, so that het pied influence might be helping out with some of the oranges that are here. This female here, I love because when we look at her belly, the het pied tracks almost go down her whole body. Uh, so I'm gonna say on a limb here that this girl will probably prove out to be het pied. Um, no problems at all with that just because of how those those het pie tracks are just really filling the sides of the belly there and again this is just a standard orange dream 100% het pie but it is a nice quality orange dream you're gonna see some some really cool oranges coming up the side with this female as she grows that's one thing I found with my orange dream stock is it does get better with age opposed to browning out and washing out with age that you'll see from a lot of other people's OD stock um, so that's just one thing that I've really focused on is producing the nicest orange dreams that I can and that just goes to show that if you per, if you buy good quality orange dream stock or whatever gene you're into those babies are going to come out looking just like the parents do so it's always good to have uh, what you like just really focus on it and really push forward to make the best quality ones you can and that's what I'm doing with Orange Dream uh, so this female here is a Orange Dream 100% Het Pie and then from there we hit three visual pies and again they are all females so we're going to jump into those the first one we're going to check out is the Orange Dream Pied. Um, I did talk to a couple people about these and they just, 
first thing they said was congrats because it was my first pie collection. I hit three visuals and OD is in every single one. But this one here is just a regular standard orange dream pie. Um, it is pretty high white. I'm more of a low white pie person if I am going to pick and choose which ones I prefer. Um, but again, the orange dream is just bringing in that Halloween orange contrast. The neck on this girl is just so orange and like really, really nice dark blacks as well. So this is just a stunning little female that came from the pie pairing. Um, she hasn't taken a meal on her own yet, so she is being a little bit stubborn with me, but we'll keep working with her until, uh, until we get her onto the food, no problems um, at all with her. So that's just the Orange Dream Pied Female. And then from there, this one's actually pretty unique as well, because she did come out, she's very, very high white, uh, but she did come out with a cool little paradox spot on the back of her neck. Um, so this one here is a Orange Dream Gravel or Yellow Belly Pied. Um, no Gene X in this one, and you can kind of tell just because the pattern here is just not as high contrast as the, the next one we'll be checking out. Um, so you can really tell the difference between the two having the Gene X and having no Gene X in it is the, the contrast definitely is a lot brighter. Um, but again, very, very high white pied female. Um, this one here does have that really cool, unique paradox mark right on the back of the neck there. So that will be cool to see if it gets bigger as she ages or if it just kind of stays the size that it is. But I think that's pretty unique to see. Um, I'm not sure, um, I'm, like, like I said, I'm not too familiar with the pies, but when you start mixing some jeans together, you can get pies that have black dots that pop out uh, throughout their aging and stuff like that. So it'll just be cool to see what that paradox mark does. And again, guys, like I'm not a huge pie guy, but these guys, these girls, sorry, turned out super cool. Um, I just can see myself doing some more super orange dream pie combos, add some enchi in there, stuff like that to bring in that pattern. But yeah, these girls turned out really, really unique. I'm really happy with them. And then the last one we have here is definitely my favorite. And I wish it had some more pattern to it, but this one here is the Orange Dream Gravel slash Yellow Belly Jean X Pie Female. And like I said, this one you can just see there's a little bit more higher contrast in the orange uh, compared to the last one. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this one has the Gene X. Um, I did, like I said, I talked to a couple people just to confirm it because I'm not too familiar with it. Um, but this here is definitely the banger of the clutch. Um, I cannot wait. This is actually going to be a Canadian Balls holdback. Um, I cannot wait till I can grow her up and stick like a super gravel to her and just see what comes from it. Um, start dabbling into the highway pie projects and just kind of kind of just see what the highway game is going to do mixed with some of these recessives we already know the highway and clown is crazy so just some of the uh some of the highway pied stuff that we have seen is just kind of the the tip of the iceberg so it's going to be very unique to see what these projects do um, again everybody loves pieds um, it was never something that i got into heavily but a lot of people love pied so it's it's not a bad thing to be working with them. You just got to make sure that whatever you're doing with them is incorporating the genes that you do love to work with. So, so that was one reason why I did this pairing there. And again, it was a path or a, sorry, an orange dream, yellow belly slash gravel gene X hep pied male to a visual pied female. So out of six eggs, three visual pies, couple uh, other single gene hep pied combos. I'm definitely very, very happy with this clutch. Um, so again, like I said, this female is going to be staying, but we do have two other girls that will be available. Um, if you have any questions or you want to inquire about them, feel free to drop us a comment, comment or shoot us a direct message. And then as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.